Hello, it's Lou Collins and today I have got for you a card that is really fun um, using my Peacock Plume Collection from the brand Textures. So this fun pop-up card, as you pull this element out, you do get the pop-up and in this case it's the Peacock there. Uh, I absolutely love this Peacock. I've used it in so many cards in so many different ways, but it's a layering Peacock. Um, I've added to this video a template, so it's a two-page template that you can download as a PDF. This is available uh, through the link below in the description, you can find that there. And if you love videos like this, I'd love it if you would come along and subscribe to my channel so you can see some more. Right, let's get started with creating the card base. So let's create the base or the mechanism first and then I'll do the decorating afterwards. So you can download the template from my Facebook group, so you need to go ahead to the group and just um, apply to join. Uh, once you've joined, you can download this from the file section. Uh, I've linked it all below in the description. So print off the two pages. It is a PDF, so you'll be able to print off both pages at the same time. Um, so print that off and you can either use the measurements that I'm going to give you as I go through this video, or of course you can use the template there. So uh, print this off, you can um, cut this out and glue it to your cardstock to cut those out. What I've done is I've gone by the measurements though. So uh, this is here for you to use if you want to, but you can also write these down as I go. If I think about it, I'll put it in, put the measurements in the description too. So two pieces of cardstock you're going to need. Let's bring that in so I can refer to this at the same time. So this is going to be the outer wrap and this needs to be um, three and three quarter inches by four and three quarter inches across. Okay, not sorry, nine and three quarters, nine and three quarters, four and three quarters, four and three quarters. Okay, the score line through the centre then needs to be at five and a half inches. Okay, so five and a half inches. Then you're going to want to trim. Let me do that here now, just on the edge of each of the long edges you're going to want to take a quarter inch off so score a quarter inch first of all and the same on this side and two so on my scoreboard that's two increments and then we're just going to snip into this one there and one there and you're going to want to trim up this edge. Now, you can do it with your scissors. I think I'm going to do it with my trimmer though, just because it's going to make it a little bit neater. So popping this into there and using my cutting blade to trim up to that score line. Doesn't matter if you go a little bit over to get a nice neat finish. Same on the other side, just place that where it needs to be there we go and take those pieces away so you should have a piece of cardstock that looks like this okay so what we're going to do then is mountain fold so we're going to turn this over so that the large piece or sorry the large the wider piece but the shorter in depth piece is at the top fold that down so that's a mountain fold then you're going to mountain fold the two ends over so that's going to wrap over the edge of the long piece so there's one and then fold this one over two and score that i have written on the template which are mountain folds and valley folds for you so that wrapped over with these tabs glued on the reverse that is going to be the base for your card. Next you want to do the inside mechanism. This one is going to be 9 and 16th of an inch and 3 and 3 quarters of an inch across. So that's 9 and 1 16th of an inch and 3 and 3 quarters of an inch across. Okay so once you've got that panel cut there we can add our score lines in. Now your score lines are going to be at um, you're going to want to put them at four and three quarters, four and three quarters, five and a half and six and a quarter of an inch. Okay, so there's three that are 
in line they should all be let me see if i can show you those in the shadows they should all be at similar widths there as well okay so they are these three folds so as you can see from the template mountain valley mountain so we're going to constantina fold these making sure that when you fold them they're nice and at uh, a right angle so that your cardstock all stays in line with itself using my bone folder here just to score everything down nice strong lines so when you lift that up you've then got this piece in the middle that you can pinch now we need to adhere some glue or some tape onto the inside of this i'm going to use red liner tape because it's a nice flat glue that will instantly grab just pop that there and i'm using my tim holtz uh, non-stick scissors just to make sure that i don't get any glue on my um, scissors there peel that off fold that over on itself and there you've got your mechanism so what's going to happen is this is going to be down inside the card you're going to pull this out and as it gets to the end there that's going to pin open and you're going to have whatever you want popping up on the inside there okay so the last bit we need to do is this and this is a piece of acetate or a piece of plastic it doesn't have to be acetate because acetate is actually quite strong and quite firm um whatever you want whatever clear sort of flexible plastic you've got i wouldn't say cardstock because the amount of times you'll probably be opening and closing that cardstock eventually is going to get a little bit worn so this bit's going to be a little bit harder for you to see, but I've got my um, two and a quarter by two and a quarter inch square there from acetate. And I'm going to put some glue, double-sided tape here on two ends on the same side of the plastic. Again, I'm using my red liner tape. There's one. And there's the second. Press them down, make sure they're really well stuck. So you can use something like your scoring tool just to burnish that tape down before you lift the backing off. And again, pokey tool there to lift the backing off one. So you're going to do one first. Now I've indicated whereabouts this um, glue is going to go, but that's whilst it's closed. Okay, so we're going to fold closed our mechanism and we're going to be looking at this area here. So this is going to be uh, the top here. What we're going to do is we're going to place our sticky tape and our acetate. You can see I've left the backing on this side. I'm going to place that against that folded. So if I just open it up, you can see we've got our fold there. So we're going to place that against the folded edge just there and press that down. Again, you're going to want to burnish that down really well. Then you're going to want to fold the acetate back. So fold that back. And if you're using a strong acetate, that usually creases really quite well. So in really burnish that down too. Okay, so now your sticky tape should be on the upside here. So what we're going to do next is bring our uh, the inside, the mechanism of the card, just inside of the card base so you can see we've got a nice even edge either side open this up so your acetate is there we're going to bring this until we can see the acetate and then the actual card is just outside of the edge there so it's just on the outside we've got a tiny little gap just there okay so a little gap between the two so keeping that in place we're just going to remove the backing from the red liner tape and we're going to leave these tabs open for now just fold this closed again just making sure that is just over the line and everything's nice and straight and in line and press that down okay so as you pull this out you'll notice your card will flatten so now to check that your mechanism works so what should happen is your card should be able to tuck inside there just inside making sure that you've still got that gap between the two just lightly press down as if it was glued together and you're going to want to pull this flap down and as it comes down 
the top will spring open okay so that acetate inside needs to be as thin as you can possibly get it in fact i would recommend something like some packaging that comes around paper packs or um, when you get your stamps in uh, thin paper thin plastic packaging something like that is ideal so recycle and reuse for this part and you'll get your pop-up okay so now to decorate it okay so I've got all my pieces die cut and ready to decorate I've gone with my textures peacock plume collection that is the layering peacock die as you can see I've got pieces here and the outline here um, I've also gone with the panel just a small amount of one of the panels here uh, these are absolutely gorgeous but I've just got a tiny little bit they do layer up actually they're really good fun so you can see some examples of those over on the craft stash page everything's linked below and then i've also taken uh, some pattern paper from the peacock plume collection too so this gorgeous one that's got like geometric or so geometric sort of almost a moroccan feel to it but it looks like it's got gold running through it it hasn't it's all completely matte uh, but i've then teamed it with gold mirror card to kind of accentuate that so uh, let's get to creating now like I say I have already cut all of these down to size I'm going to mat and layer wherever I can onto the white cardstock so I'm just going to glue these panels on first now as I say I cut this gorgeous panel from gold cardstock the peacock feathers panel um, you're not going to see a lot of it but I'm going to just pop this on before we construct the card once this is on we can glue the front of the card round to the base to the back um, but I wanted to just do this bit first see that panel actually fits absolutely perfectly on there I'll make sure that's down so that nothing lifts up and affects the mechanism at all so now what we're going to be able to do is fold this round turn it over and using red liner tape or another double sided tape you can use a wet glue but of course with a wet glue you do risk a little bit sort of squelching out and reaching the rest of your card and you don't want this to stick where it shouldn't do so just burnish that down lift the backing off keeping this nice and tight just fold that over there and the same on the other side so now you can test that me mechanism now you don't need to hold it closed and just make sure that that's going to pop up as you expect it to that's perfect so we've got the pop-up panel but as you can see we've got this bit now this is what's going to make our peacock uh, stand up when we pull it out so now we can pull this out if we're happy with everything so you can just see a little bit of that gold there let's now place our peacock on now my peacock is a little bit too tall for example if i pop this down here and put everything back in you'll see that the peacock head very much uh, pokes out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop the peacock in there as far as i can see that will go let's just make sure that that's at the end yeah so pop that in as far as possible straighten this up and then I'm just going to run a pokey tool across the end there okay so just so that I've got a score line I'm just going to fold that for now I'm going to construct the peacock and what I'm going to do afterwards is trim this so that the peacock's in two pieces and we'll work that into the mechanism so putting this peacock together is absolutely beautiful so uh, you need a fine glue applicator or uh, if you've used double sided sheets and die cut through then they're perfect as well. So you want to glue this peacock down onto the base. So then we can layer up the tail feathers now. Just looking at this I think the tail feathers will also need to be trimmed so I'm going to just for now I'm just going to glue the top of the tail feathers on and the same with the next layer as well there's even smaller layers too if you want to use some of those there we go so we've got our layered peacock which is really pretty absolutely beautiful now what I also need to do is trim this so I'm just going to hold it all together turn it over take a good pair of scissors and I'm going to trim just along that score line that I made earlier there we 
we go. So now I can glue this this bottom piece on. Now I'm not going to worry about the base of this top one too much. I'm going to worry more about this one. So the bigger one. So I'm just going to glue again the tops of this just onto here. There we go. And the two will sit together in the card like so. So now to put the peacock in, let's just pop Mr. Peacock, that's his name now, Mr. Peacock. I'm going to glue the base down. This is going to go right up against that score line. And then I'm just going to adhere the base of the peacock. There, this top panel, just to the, uh, the piece that's sticking up our folded element there just taking this off. I'm using red liner tape here because this is going to go up and down lots of times as it's opened and closed. I want to make sure it's got a nice stable adhesive so there we go. Pull that off. Lay this flat. Just line that up with the card. There we go. So now our peacock stands up. And what should happen is as this closes, everything gets squashed down. Now, what you may need to do is take a bone folder, ensure everything in there is glued nicely and just press that all down just to make sure it knows which way it, wants, it needs to fold. And then that will all hide away in there. And as you can see, we now can't see the peacock's head. But if we pull this out, we get the peacock popping up. Isn't that beautiful? So put that away. Um, there we go gorgeous okay so lastly i just need to do a little bit of decoration on the front there we go so there's that card that's the pop-up card the template is available for you to use i've linked it down in the description i've also linked all of the um product, products that i've used so all of the textures range the peacock plume the art deco and the reflection and yeah have some fun with that i'd love to see any that you make using this template